Good day guys, I wanted to go over uh, concept art and static images and how I see um, them as animated shots or cinematic shots um, how a good artist can give you good cinematography um, the ideas of cinematography, the layers um, and how you can make it uh, or visualize it into a shot in a film um, or a nice animation like for Griffin Animation Academy course um, and I found this artist uh, Omer Tunk and I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it um, but I found him on Instagram and is uh, it's under Kao Mahal and I thought these images were very masterfully designed uh, just in its layout its composition um, it had it has good imagination um, and has vast scale uh, so you feel like there's things uh, beyond the frame like a whole world in itself with its own laws you know with its own um, good guys and bad guys um, and all these shots all these paintings have very good mood and atmosphere we'll start with this shot so as you can see I'm trying to draw a straight line these guys are straight down the middle so the artist wants to wants you to see you know this guy obviously and the hero here so the balance of space is kind of kind of like positive and negative it's like that and the rest is obviously the space around it but this the shape obviously penetrates the the negative space so that's what the artist wants you to see um, I love the scale so the hero we assume this is the hero just down here this size and the obstacle the nemesis is you know five times ten times the size We have a nice line of action. You can feel like this snake guy kind of rose up this way, coming up here. So there's a direction of movement and flow. You got these bats coming up, so they feel like they're coming up this way. Um, you have dark figure looming in the background so he's you know watching we feel like he's uh so he's on he's behind the the villain so he's looking down on the hero and then you have obviously your layers of mist so this is your foreground guy then there's your mist to break up the midground again the snake then there's background elements so all that helps with the cinematography and I love this shot this shot has great energy um, you have this hero in this running pose and you know he's going this way and you can feel like this creature is wanting to move this way you can feel that energy the explosion so that energy is moving down this way towards us and the hero is running towards us as well so it has it sets up a great 
um, shot for animation or even like a shot in a film great action shot so you can feel this creature would be nice and heavy chasing this this guy who's running for his life Again, this feels like a nicely framed shot. The symmetry. This hero. All the heroes have cool physiques, you know, wide shoulders, they feel like they're capable. Athletic. This poses confidence. A positive space here. Oh, these cool, like, shaped ledges. Then you have this green. We have this guy holding a sword, this creature at the back with this odd shape, which stands over him. Maybe this front figure, which makes it very interesting. It's not like your usual creature, it's kind of disfigured. It's holding a giant sword, which is pretty awesome. And then you have layers of flame at the back, chains, as these cool shapes. Here's another cool. Um, Cool wide shot of the grass in the foreground, it's out of focus. And then positive space here, it's taken up by this cool creature and this cool shape. And then again, we see it compared to a human and a horse, so it's much larger. And then we have nice mountain shapes in the background. have a nice line of action this creature nicely posed nice and balanced perch getting ready to fly and this shot's amazing because it feels like the cameraman's half submerged on the water so we get that effect of like we're swimming in the water and watching the action of this awesome creature that's it and then again another human so we see the scale and we see like you have the physique on this creature it's very intimidating but I love this concept very cinematic and here we have the flow of energy is you can see the swirls of the sword so this creature is kind of swiping screen left he's getting ready to anticipate anticipation by this punch which the attack you feel like is going to be this way which is at this guy who's getting ready to fend himself and again the scale of a human to a large creature he's framed the trees around the, and the creature so the positive space the negative space is left open to highlight this creature these rocks and trees are in the foreground to break up the plane and another epic shot but this time we see the hero in the foreground looking at the background and obviously the dragon is massive and this feels like the hero because this posture is confident he's upright he 
He's looking the creature right in the eye as he looks back. Another cool silhouette. It's a giant sword. It's like a giant knight. And similar shapes are found in the background. So they're like crescents. And they were like divided up by a nice mist. And you get this midground, like a forest and a castle. And then you get the foreground, which is this guy on a horse, this bit of land. divide up by mists and different planes. 